Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you see the win streaks disappear. Don't worry, I can say this. Quick Hall of Fame verification check as we jump into this game against the Los Angeles Lakers. Now you guys are probably wondering, where is the win streak stat? I can confirm we are still continuing that win streak, but it may end tonight. And you will see the result of the win streak towards the end of the video and also beginning of the next My Career Center video. Now you're probably wondering, did I just say may lose this game? Because usually I'm like, nah, we're going to come through with a win. Although I don't say it, that's what I think. But this game is something else. And it's mainly because of one individual center, I should say. No, I'm not talking about my one. I'm talking about the opposing team center. This guy right here. Chris, the caveman, Cayman. Going up and scoring on him, of course. He ain't playing that well on defense, but it, he is offensively gifted. I mean, if you don't box him out and he grabs that offensive rebound, you are as good as done because he will not miss that hustle point put back. It is ridiculous. He's super athletic in this game. I don't know where that super athleticism came from. I mean, he is pretty old, but I don't think he's that athletic the way they made him out to be. It's just ridiculous. I mean, he's doing putback dunks on a ridiculous scale, but yet again, he is about seven foot tall. I'm just standing there like, damn, Chris is taking flight. Where's Ice Cube when you need him? I don't know what that was going to be all about, but we're going to block. Robert Sacre Bleu, get out of here. I didn't mean to make fun of his surname right there, but we're going to shot fake, get Pal Gasol off. And of course, we got the M1 play to go down. We're going to get sent to the free throw line. And you know how we feel about free throws. It's free throw practice. Just get him. But yeah, Chris came in in real life as well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm giving him a new nickname. Mr. Hustle Point. Because <laughs> he is Mr. Hustle Point. If he grabs that offensive rebound, he's going to put it right back in. And he's just playing outstandingly. Uh, Damien Lillard for three. Nellis for three. Split Splash. Bubble Bath. Get Hype Damien Lillard. In five different events this coming weekend. Block Kobe. Get out of here. No, no, no. Not today, Mr. Brian. That is ridiculous. And oh, I forgot to mention this. Jeremy Lin is now part of the Los Angeles Lakers. How do you guys feel about Jeremy Lin being part of the LA dynasty? I mean, that is a future point guard for LA. But they got rid of Steve Nash, and now Steve Nash is playing for the Houston Rockets. So Steve Nash is now set up with Dwight Howard and, of course, James Harden. And you will see that in the next, not the next video, but in the upcoming video soonish. Chris came in helping up his uh, teammate Pau Gasol, and I really do kind of regret trading Chris Kamen in the Kobe Bryant series that I'm doing as well. But he wasn't, I didn't really know how to fully utilize him. I mean, he's a hustle point player. I never managed to get enough hustle points, but hell, well, it is what it is. I'm fine with Serge Ibaka replacing him. And we also have Rudy Gay, but that's a different, that's a different topic on another show. I'm going to go up and finish that. And now we have to come in with the mindset of how to stop Chris Kamen. He's already on 12 points. We were on 17. i got to try and catch him off guard. Completely shot fake going up. Trying to draw that foul. So we are going to do our best to get Chris Kamen fouled out. Because if he's gone, I believe we have a much easier chance of getting this win. Now you, you're probably thinking, hang on. How can you just straight up disregard Kobe Bryant? One of the best scorers in NBA history. One of the best offensive players ever to have played the game. Well, I'm not disregarding it. I just know in this game, I can kind of get there in time when he shoots. Because the center has a length, like a huge wingspan. And if he can cover like a good couple of feet on the court and get towards Kobe Bryant, I know he's going to miss that. But if he gets one to fall in his face... He's on fire, so yes, I have a bit of a game plan going on for Kobe Bryant. Is to double team Kobe when he's on the floor, because he's not on the floor currently. But when he's on the floor, he gets double team. I don't know how that works out, it just does. I think that's something the coach set up, because I didn't have a on-court coach attached to this game. I could be wrong, I played this game a while back, but you see Kobe Bryant's back in. Kick it out to Nick Batum, who's going to give us that assist. Thank you kindly, Nicholas. Batum going up, drawing that foul. 
Chris Kamen is getting close to getting out of here. Back to the free throw line, knock it down. You know what, how we feel about these free throws. It may be free throws, but it's just practice mode for us. Knocking down another one, we are defensively on fire. Shot faking Chris Kamen, he ain't falling for it. Going up and finishing that basket. I should have kicked it to that alpha dog. Uh, I'm doing the quotation marks with my fingers right now. Get blocked once again, Pagasol. Oh, no, we couldn't block him twice. But yeah, the alpha dog. <laughs> Marcus Aldridge, aka LA, aka uh, I'll be the main character, you're gonna be the sidekick, aka Batman. I don't know why I'm keep giving him these different ass nicknames. But yeah, Marcus Aldridge has got the personality trait of Alpha Dog. And Jer Jeremy, why did I say Jeremy Lin? I'm trying to say Damien Lillard, not Jeremy Lin. <laughs> yeah, but Damien Lillard has the personality trait of Beta Dog. And we, as of recently, we have unlocked the personality trait of. Oh my goodness. Alpha Dog. Stay with me, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Ice Cube Unity. It's time for the Sprite Slam. Damn! And it ain't even Friday. But what was I saying? Yeah, we have just recently unlocked the Alpha Dog uh, personality trait, but I decided not to put that on. I mean, sure, you'll have two Alpha Dogs running the floor, but. And here's the but. I will get rid of. Like, one, that would get rid of, I should say, one of the personality traits that I really use the most. That would be Defensive Anchor. A Defensive Anchor gives a defensive boost to all your teammates while they're playing defense. Kicking off to Wesley Matthews, he's going to sink that three. Split splash, bubble bath, three on score three, thank you kindly. And yeah, so I was meaning to mention the other two defensive, not the defensive traits, the personality traits, I should say. The other personality trait we have is closer and that's self-explanatory that gives us a boost in our offense get out of here Chris Kamen when it comes towards the end of the game like late late fourth quarter I should say about when it's two minutes remaining roughly about that that's when it activates itself so you get like a plus 12 attribute boost in your uh, I think it's your free throws and plus six and everything else offensively I could be wrong that's what it was like last year I hope it's still the same this year I just it just says you get an offensive boost this that and the other and the other personality trait we have is a, uh, I think it's floor general. So that gives all your surrounding teammates an increase offensively. Oh my God! Put on your 3D glasses just real quick, cause that is flying out of the screen. <laughs> but yeah, that's our three personality traits. And of course, you know the signature skills: lockdown defender, eraser, tenacious rebounder, posterizer, post proficient, post proficiency. I think that's what it's called finisher and uh, I think I think that's it I think that's all we have just now I could be missing one and I could be wrong we are probably missing one I think I have chased down artists in this one and going up and throwing it down on Robert Sacre he's getting pissed off that should have been a sprite slam damn movement but look at that movement look at that flight motion look at that hang time can you dig it getting back to the free throw line knocking it down I don't know what I have my uh, different impersonations there but it is what it is Backing down our opponent, shot fake, giving it to Mr. L.A., a.k.a. Batman, who's going to finish that man. Back to Batman again. We're just going to go for the assist because we are trying to get to a grand total of uh, averaging. Grand total? Grand total? Why does it grand total? We're trying to get to the total average of 10 assists per game for the regular season so we can say we can average a quadruple double. And going up, he's missing that shot. We want to grab a rebound, and we do. And coming up in this clip, you're about to hear what uh, I think this is the first time I've actually heard it being said. All over the place tonight. Unbelievable performance. He's got a quadruple double. Now that is the first time I've heard that being said. Because usually when I play my career mode, I'm listening to the Jalen Rose report on Grantland. So I usually turn the volume really low on the TV. Like it's near next to nothing coming out my TV, and I just sit there listening to, uh, you know, the Jalen Rose report with Bill Simmons and Jacoby, and you know, that's how it is. And I've been doing that throughout the whole of the my career season. I think this is the first time I've had it, like actually heard, and I can actually generally remember hearing it from the commentary. So I need to probably just leave the TV volume up a bit more and turn down the Grantland a bit less. 
But anyway, that's the end of this game. Ladies and gentlemen, you see Marcus Aldridge with fantastic stats right there. Damian Lillard chipping in a couple of points. We finished with the quadruple double, quintuple double, I should say. <laughs> if you want to count the turnovers, <clears throat> we don't count turnovers. But yeah, that is the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Vine. And if you haven't seen my other video, it's right there on the screen right now. Be sure to check it out. Till next time, peace to you. Enjoy your day.